Hi Adam, Basil Jed here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, golf bunker shots, how to hit from a plug lie. I'll show you the two things you absolutely have to do, how to do those if you're going to have success. Then at the end of the video, I'll show you a specialty shot that's really fun to try and could be a real stroke saver for you. If you're new to the channel but haven't subscribed, we'd really appreciate it if you did. It helps us build momentum. Also, hit that little red bell there. You'll be notified every time a new video is coming your way. Well, that came out pretty well. Let's have a close-up look here at exactly what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, the obvious goal of any shot is to get the club face and the ball matching up. When you've got, let's say for argument's sake, 50% of the ball below the surface of the sand, you need a deep divot. You've got to get down there deep to get the bottom edge of that club below the ball to match these two up. Therefore, you need a sharp instrument. By closing the face and tilting it forward, you sharpen the front edge. You do not want a blunt bottom edge for this shot, so closing the face is key number one. Okay, so how close do we need the club face? Well, there's some trial and error for sure to find out what you need. First factor, how deeply is it plugged? If it's only plugged a little, you may not need to close it all that much. Second factor, how firm is the sand? Now, typically, if sand is packed and firm, that ball isn't going to plug, but it's, there's variables there. So if it's kind of tight and packed in there and the ball's down, more resistance, you need the face more closed to dig in. The final one people often don't consider, how physically strong are you? Listen, if you're one of the lads on the PGA Tour, you can leave the face slightly open and still have enough strength to pound in there and get a deep enough divot in all likelihood. So factor that in it as well. But again, trial and error is always the key. Let's have a go. This is a moderately plug lie. Close it a bit. That seemed to do the job about right. Okay, before we look at our specialty shot, which I think you'll enjoy, let's look at number two way in which you can get a deep divot, and that's angle of attack. Now, an image I like to use and I'm teaching is if this was a thick sheet of ice over some water, say three inches thick, and you had to break it, would you swing this way? We'd actually swing that way. That would smash it the easiest. Of course, you can't hit a golf shot doing that, but you can get the club more up and down, lift it and dig it in. It penetrates a lot easier, and when you do that, you'll want a short finish because you're emphasizing going down into the sand, not up out of the sand. Let's have a go. Pick it up and just jam it in the sand there. Not that difficult. I first learned this specialty shot from a guy called Bob Howiter, an old friend who played the tour in the late 70s, and then in recent years, short game specialist Eric Kaplan came out to do a golf school here at the facility I'm at, and in teaching together, he showed me this shot again. So here it is. You take the club and you literally turn it, not all the way in, but most of the way in. It cuts the sand easily, and what happens, this U here, the sand funnels up over it, and the ball just pops right out. Okay, that's buried down there pretty deeply. There's that club face. It doesn't look like it would work, but it will. Let's have a go. You might want to practice that once before trying to dazzle your buddies out in the golf course. Great little shot though. Club goes through the sand easily. Well, I hope that's helpful for you with how to get out of those plug lies. Have some fun with it. Have some fun with that last shot we just discussed. Hopefully it'll be a stroke saver for you next time out. 